Hey everybody, I'm Scott from ScottyTheNJMedium.com. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you haven't yet, give the old like button a click, thumbs up, click the bell to get all notifications, and uh, while you're at it, why don't you just subscribe? Because we're gonna talk about psychic development, ghosts, spirits, and so much more, right here, right now. Today, I'm gonna talk to you about your psychic development. Specifically, how to read a photo. If you've been following me on Facebook or recently here on YouTube or Instagram, you'll know that I've been talking a lot about developing your abilities right now in the easiest fashion. I'm going to give you a few tips on how you can get started right after the video, so stay tuned. To get started, you'll need a photograph of a person, place, or thing that you have no knowledge of, a pen and paper, an open mind, and somebody to validate the information that you get from your first photograph reading. Let's get started. Here are the easy steps to learn how to read a photograph. One, get a photograph. Piece of cake, they're everywhere. This doesn't just have to be a paper photograph or a physical copy. Uh, I've done this many times just using my cellular device. Somebody sends me a photograph over text message or messenger and asks me to take a look at it and read it. After you have a photograph, it should be of somebody that you don't know or a place that you've never been to so you don't have knowledge of it because we want to test our skill at this, okay? What I'd like you to do is take it, hold it, um, even if it's on your, on your phone um, or your computer screen, wherever you can get the photograph from, and I'd like for you to just close your eyes like I'm doing right now and you are just going to clear out all of your notions about what might be associated with that photograph and just just be quiet for a minute okay take a deep breath now open your eyes and think about this place or this person I want you to ask yourself, your higher self, about the photograph. Just connect with a clear mind and say, who was this person? Is there a name? What did they do for a living? Did they have favorite hobbies? Is there someone here that they'd like to connect with? Is there any major accomplishments in their life that I should talk about? If it's a structure, say to yourself, what was here before the structure was here? Who occupied the structure? What was it used for? Were there any major tragedies or events that happened around it? As you're doing that, I want you to dig deep into your imagination. That's what psychic abilities are really based on, your imagination. It's just being brave enough to say that that's what's happening. That your imagination is getting things correct as you're connecting with a specific person, place, or thing. And especially in something as easy as photographing. Now, after you get your impressions of what might have been in the structure or, or around it, or once you gather up some information about the person's personality, go ahead and take a pen and paper and write all that stuff down. That's step two. Easy peasy so far, right? Okay. After you have everything written down, you're going to go back to the person who gave you the photograph, and you're going to show them what you wrote down about the place or the person, or even if they gave you an object to look at as far as the photograph reading goes. Sit with them and talk to them about the impressions that you got. Remember, if you're new at this, keep a broad spectrum as to what you could have picked up. When I first started, sometimes I would pick up things, especially about places, beyond the place that I was talking about. So that's really the three basic steps of a photo reading. You just have to have the confidence that what you're picking up and writing down is going to be accurate in some sort of way. And usually not a general way after you start really practicing and honing in your skills. Uh, right down to the point where I've done photo readings of homes and talked about the runner going up the steps with the brass bars holding the runner in. Um, that's not something that you can just 
know um, by looking at the outside of any home. It's intimate knowledge and it came from a photo reading of the structure. This video helps enlighten you a little bit on that stuff. Um, it's really easy and it's really important and we're gonna have more videos just like this one. So I want you to like, subscribe, and ring the bell, especially if you are super into psychic development, mediumship development, and paranormal activity. That's what we're here for. Have a great day. I'm Scotty the NJ Medium. Thank you for watching.